for this match, Ralph Suke and Sid Waddell. Well, this one should be a real cracker. It features the 1998 WPA World Champion, still holder of that title, from Japan, Kuniko Takahashi, against the very talented Christian Reimering of Germany. Actually, uh, Christian Reimering, a teammate of myself. My name is Ralph Suke from Germany. Next to me is Sid Waddell. Thank you, Ralph. Yeah, well, uh, some player Takahashi, he uh, featured well in the recent World Championships a few months ago in Cardiff against this very talented German. This should be a good one, should be very tight. The referee is uh, Jan Verhaas. Yeah, yeah. Kuneko Takahashi There's the rack. the lag. Race to nine racks. First rack, Kuneko Takahashi to break. Well, Takahashi won the leg and he's going to break his first game in this 1999 Virgin Interactive Whirlpool Masters. Coming in with a good strong break there, pretty productive one. How's he lying on the one, Ralph? Well, actually, that's a good layout for him. He made a ball on the break. Pretty good action here. A lot of power going in. Not as much as Buster Manti. Nowhere near the power. This lad was the uh, world champion in 1998. It's going to trickle one up there. Uh, position on the red three, no trouble. Uh, into the cushion. Got a perfect position here on the three. I think it's no problem getting position on the four, which is right in the center of the table. After that, playing on the five, where he's right bending over right now. Just screwing back gently for the pink four into the middle. Stand by torpedoes one and two. If he can get a good angle on the seven here after playing the five, he should have been out here. He's going to play. Yeah, Reimering, uh, good player. Four times the German champion. Uh, Euro star as well. This guy, very composed. And we have seen Rolf, uh, temperament, play a part. Bustamante had an argument with referee Michaela Tab, who said he missed the yellow. We saw six replays. But he let it get in his nervous for two racks and lost the game, lost his concentration. You can't afford to lose your rag at this match. And the first rack. That's it. Winning the first Three game, leading one more extra zero. Nicknamed Cooney and uh, Japanese age 30, 12 years of pro and the best in the land of the rising sun. The second rack, Kuniko Takahashi. Our referee on this one, Jan Vahas. Going for the second break here, Cooney. He has a black belt in nine ball. A black belt in nine ball? Yeah, that's uh, how they call him in, in the United States when he plays the Camel Tour over there. He always, they always introduce him as a holder of the black belt. Well, successful break here. He's thinking about giving a leather in to Reimering. Uh, object of the game, if you're new to it, is to sink the balls in numeric order, one to nine. But if you can see a plant or a cannon. Uh, at any time, why is he uh, why is he hesitating, Ralph? Well, it's a tough shot on the three ball. He might can play it in the side. If not, he has trouble because there's no open pocket to play the three. If he can make the three, this game looks pretty easy because the four is not far away from the pocket. The five is okay. Seven, eight, nine should be not a problem. But the three ball is the ball to make here. 
it looks an easier angle there than it really is, I think. In the middle. Yeah, it looks easier than it really is. Played very gently, you can see him on tender hooks playing that one. Pink four. Even the pink four now is a bit funny because I think he's straight in. He wanted to have a little more angle to bring the cue ball down to the five. So how does he get the angle? I think he's going to draw it back shortly before the side pocket. Oh, he missed it. But the In trying to put enough bottom on it to draw it back, he forgot to make the pot. A little spin out in the wash, though. Far too worried about the position and just ignored the obvious. But still, I think he tied it up two balls eight and a nine. I don't know if the eight is makeable in that corner left pocket there. Takahashi leading one nil in this race to nine. Reimering is from uh -oh. the Gladbach. He hooked himself here. Came a little too far with the cue ball. His favorite player is Francisco Bustamani, but he won't get any lessons from the Maestro this week. Uh, Bustamante went out last week to a Dutchman. Why the hesitation, Ralph? Well, he can't see the five ball here, so he's probably going to jump it. Jump over <laughs> the nine and the eight ball, try to make the five and get position for the seven. So the jump shot played with extreme masse, coming down onto it at about an angle of 70 degrees. The ideal shot is to hit it just after the bounce. Foul. Oh. Yeah, he hit the eight ball first, so it's ball in hand for Kunihiko. Ball in hand, Kunihiko Takashi. Which means it shouldn't be a big problem now for him. Just get a position on the seven because he tied it up the seven and the eight. Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't fast enough on this jump shot here. Yeah, spelling out the A to Z to Junior. Once it was not the game to teach your kids, it was frowned upon. The game, particularly in America, has been a hangout for ne'er do wells, rednecks, and other forms of low life. But now, the game's got a totally different image. No problem here to just stun. Or maybe a bit of gentle screw back for the easy one ball. Wow, he smashed that eight ball in. Didn't see any need for the power. In fact, he's met. Surely the stun shot there would have left him straight as a die. Yeah, right. That was a little risky here, but I think he he's still a little nervous, so with a hard shot like that, you can kill this a bit. He makes game number two, leading by two wrecks to zero. Hey, baby. World Golf Championships will conclude with the American Express Championship. Don't miss the world's best clash for season-ending honors in a glorious finale. Witness the action at Spain's magnificent Valderrama. The World Golf Championships. This time, it's for the world. In November, the movies you adore are on Encore. Feel passion that lasts longer than life. Sam's dead. Tell her I love her. He says he loves you. Or a love that's turned to anger. I want my son. You can't have him. Meet an unprincipled man. Well, of course, I'll ask anyone what time is your husband coming home. Or two guys with a divine plan. Tristan! We're on a mission from God. Don't you laugh, Beeman here. Rock with the king. Let me tell you people, little Egypt doesn't dance there anymore. Or orchestrate a murder. Have you ever heard of Russian roulette? Certainly. I used to play it all the time with my father. 
fight out on the range. Uh, you don't suppose I could ride along with you? No. Survive disaster on the ground. I know you'll laugh. I think we're gonna have a really big quake. And danger in the air. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. The movies you adore during November on Encore. Boxing live on Fox Sports. Back here at the Lakeside Shopping Center, Takahashi of Japan now leads Christy Reimring of Germany by four racks to two. Yeah, his uh, nickname is Cricky. I'm Berg Gladbach. And, uh, Seventh rack. Played with my cook on the Rob Suke many times in the German team. Yeah, we're playing in the same team in Germany. So that means I know him quite well. I know his good things and even his bad things. Which are? Well, I won't tell you. Oh. Well, Ralph, you have to play in this tournament. But he will uh, keep all his secrets to himself. He's not going to. Give us too much SP on the others. You hit the one more little too much on the left side. And he hit it with so much angle that the cue ball jumps off the table, gives Kunahiku a ball in hand. And the turning point in the game because he has the plan to blow two to nine. Game over. Good combination. Right. Winning Takas, rank number seven, leading 5 2. Eight track. Kuniko Takashi to break. Well, then, no, I know I've had some drama here. The Bustamante going out after a dispute with the referee. Michael Tabo uh, flicked. He claimed he flicked the one ball. He let it get on his nerves for two or three racks. Lost his concentration. Lost the game to the very talented Dutchman Lili. It was last week. And the uh, Reimering, who's a good pal of my co commentator, Ralph Suke. Had a great chance to get on a roll of two or three racks. But he's let this guy in, and this guy is the reigning world probably PBA, the amateur ranks champion. He's not a man to give too many breaks to Roth. Well, I mean, this is a tough situation here. If you leave Kunahiku too often to the table, he's going to kill you. He's, he's not the action player like many other Americans or Filipinos. He looks very calm, but the way he plays, I mean, this guy can, can beat all of them. Can we roll on the top and right? Can he, can he pot this yellow? That, that wasn't a good shot, actually. Well, standing, or if you like, sitting, room only. I think that Christian might go for the bank shot here. Try to bank the one in the side and get the cue ball almost where it is right now to play the two in the other end. So that's like a two-way shot. If you miss the one, it's probably going to be a save as well. That's probably what he's looking for right now. Game has its own lexicon of jargon. Bank is what we call a double. In off, scala scratch. English is left or right hand side draws what happens when you apply bottom spin and follow is what happens when you apply top spin 
Lift. Not to mention the hours of practice you have to put in. Practicing all your angles. Yeah, you have to practice a lot, especially when you play safeties or kick at balls. And that's the shot Christian just did. wasn't a good one. He left Kunihiko a good safety opportunity. He's going to stop the wiper right behind the eight. Exactly a good shot here. Well, I wouldn't call that dirty pool, but it's fairly grubby. You see, it's uh, a well-laid snooker. Well, it's easy to, it's not easy, but it's, it's much easier to run out if, if there's an open table. But if you have trouble or hard layouts, the player that makes the best saves or kicks the best is going to win, win the match. That's what one of the most important, important things of the whole game, actually. Kick being a technical term for playing it with a cushion before striking the object ball. And in getting out, you sometimes stick it up. Oh, oh. scratch. That was a little unlucky. Well, I think there was exactly the, the point where he wanted to hit it. Just came a little too much underneath the one ball. That's the reason why the cue ball went through and scratched. If it would hit, would hit it maybe <laughs> by an eighth of an inch earlier the, the rail, the cue ball would have stopped right there where it was. And the scratch can be little in this because unlike English eight ball, where you can usually replace the ball on the D or behind the white line in the head string there. In this, your opponent can put the white anywhere he likes after a foul. So he cracks the one in there, two along the rail. And you probably play the red middle, maybe. He's got that well, if he stuns it for middle. Well, I th uh, he might play it in the middle or in the, in the cross corner. Depends on what he, li what he more likes. If he's going to draw the cue ball a little back now, but then he has less less options. He is playing it in the side, yeah. I think that one was a little riskier than going in the corner pocket. Taking this into the middle with a lot of top spin to get nicely on the pink four. Leaves himself a nice little angle to work on the orange five. That looks pretty good here to, to win this game. The only thing he needs here is he needs to have enough angle on the eight so he can play the eight and bring the cue ball into the left cushion and bring it down to the table where the nine is. Straightforward stun shot that, move the ball a foot. It'll stun naturally to 90 degrees. To do it anymore, you need to apply a bit of uh, side or bottom. Uh, He's not happy with that position here. I think it's too straight in. He wanted to have a little angle so he, that he could bring the cue ball back to the middle of the table to have an easy eight ball. If he's going to stop this here, he's going to have trouble making the eight. So that's why he's going to play it a little harder and follow through. It was a good shot. And he'll want to go what? Into the cushion one once to come across to take the nine bottom left? I think he's almost straight. If he has no angle at all, he just draw it back. If he has a little angle, he might draw to the left side of the nine. You can see how much bottom he's putting on it to draw. Now he won't like the kill, but you'd have thought a player of his class that would be vaguely academic problem. The fact that he's only got what quarter of the well quarter of the ball aim at. So he's made it a bit tricky by being so close to Kush. Oh he missed it. I can't believe but he's that. Fluked. I mean that is the best place to leave it if you miss. Ball is well, wide right. apart and the nine slightly off the left of the table, a couple inches away, but 
And that all happened because he got far too straight two balls ago. Yeah, that was very unusual for Kunihiko to miss a ball like this. I think Christian's going to bank this ball. He's going to play offensive shot here. Well, he, he went for it, but I think he had to. Because playing a safety with only the nine ball and the cue ball on the table is so hard. And if you leave your opponent the same shot, your opponent will go for it. So yeah, the song the said, no to run, baby, nowhere to hide. There's only two balls on the table. This then for 6-2 to the Japanese lad. On the rack. NFL on Fox for the hardest bone crunching NFL action. Keep watching Fox Sports with direct coverage from the US. Fox Sports has more live games than ever before. NFL on Fox at its best. The Detroit Lions clash head on with the St. Louis Rams. NFL on Fox, live and exclusive. Detroit and St. Louis, Monday morning at 4. Fox Sports 2. At Showtime, we only bring you the biggest movies. What the hell is that? Because we know size does matter. Godzilla premieres December 4 on Showtime. Welcome back to Lakeside, where Christy Reimring of Germany has pulled a rack back, so now it's 6 3 to Takahashi. Rack 10, Christian Reimring to break. Here we go then. Is he on a roll or will he hit the rocks? Coming in and watch for the nine developing towards the pocket and watch for two or three of the balls going down. Uh, very good break and he's looking as uh, sweet as an academia nut on the one. Well, he made two balls on a break, but he's got a tough shot on the one ball here because he has to stretch out and even the six ball is a little in his way, so he might have to take the bridge. But it's the only tough shot, I think, Ralph. Well, I mean, the shot itself isn't that hard, but to get position is it's not that easy as well. Because he has to stretch and he might have to take the, the bridge, as I said before. Even he's a, he's a tall player, he might can reach it just easy, but for me it would be real, real hard to reach this shot. Ralph is slightly vertically challenged. But a great talent. Well, the problem is he, he can't cue as he wants to because the, the six is in his way. And if, as soon as he touches the six ball or the nine with his right hand, he's going to foul. That would give ball in hand to Kunihiko again. Too close, too close, too close. That was a little, Ooh, lucky. A little unlucky here. Well, that last kiss saved him, I think. If that had stopped an inch earlier, he'd have had real trouble. But I think he's got the just a hit ball at the ten percent hit strikes at bottom right. It's gonna be a, a tough shot anyway. Because he has he has to cut it what I don't know, 35, 40 degrees and draw it back. Cheated the pocket, deliberately aimed at the inside of the knuckle. But I think he wanted to come on the other side of the four mm -hmm. to play the four in the same corner. I think he did because this is see if you play this uh, with a well getting on the green six is no problem. I've seen these missed although if it does go into the rail two feet don't worry he won't worry it'll hold. That's a great shot. That was a great shot here. A real good shot here. But still he has a a little too much angle on the six here, so that means he has to go back and forth. Yes, even the crumpet knows it's a great game. I think he might go to the right, to the right cushion and come back into the center of the table. 
No, he killed the cue ball. Bank? No, no. He's going to cut this ball in along the rail, and try to get a almost straight in eight ball. Go with the cue ball back and forth. Back and forth shot is two cushions. In, back, fourth. Absolutely brilliant. Absolute millimeter perfect shot. Shelley's class now are looking good for pulling back to 6 4. Ralf Tullis, he was a good one. He was no German pudding. So 6 4. Rhymer wins. Rhyme. Rick number 10 trailing. There isn't any Mr. criminal Ryan behavior, Ryan. but Rod Stewart said it. Steal my daddy's cue and make a living out of playing pool. Can't have rewards. But in this game, you've got to have immense patience. Takahashi sits six up to four. Knowing that his German opponent, Reimering, quite capable of running the next four or five racks, but nothing down. He broke the balls a little too soft, in my opinion. That's the reason why he didn't make a ball. There's, it's not an easy shot on the one here because there's no pocket to see for Kunihiko, so he's going to play a safety here. Plan is to lose the whites behind this wall of balls down left. Well, Christian can. There's a window between the seven and the six, so uh, Christian can see the one ball, but I don't know if he can make it because he has to check up. Cubo went f almost frozen to the five ball here, so that's a tough shot. It's a window, but it's about as thick as the fluorescent light tube. A pretty thin window here, and this could go horribly wrong and set up the opponent. This is probably one of the toughest shots in pool. Well, often a double kiss is like a Borgia kiss, i.e. you're next for the chop. But that one was very handy for him, because I don't think he can hit this in pot of top right, can he? No, it doesn't look like. Looks like he snookered him. He probably can see a little of, of the one ball, so he might be able to play a safe again. But he's not looking too happy with it. Well, Oliver Twist set the beetle. This is grueling. This is mano a mano. It's grudging. This could be decided on a mistake. 6 4. Takahashi leads. Yeah, there she is, crashing out. Adds a whole new dimension to the phrase, I'm visiting the pool. He's trying to cut this, is he? No. Safety in mind there, Rolf. Yeah, he was going for the safety, definitely. Because if he would have gone for the one ball, then he would have played it a little harder to get position on the two. But that was a good safety shot here. I think Kunihiko now is going to hit rail first, then the right cushion as well first exactly like this but he wanted to leave the cue ball behind the four just came a little too much underneath the, the one ball 
Well, step in. No tricky ball here now, I don't think. Straight one, bit straight maybe, but fairly easy to get on the two. Uh, okay, with a bit of power. Scoring back. That was a good shot. And if he if he gets the right angle on the three ball, which is right in the center, exactly where he pointed his cue, he wants to have the cue ball to get the right angle to get position on the four. Well, the problem in the early uh, two or three racks was this line had only a couple of shots. My co-commentator, his fellow German, Ralph Suke, said that he has got all the shots when he gets rolling. Well, he's looking good now to pull it back to 6-5. Yeah, he looks much better than at the beginning of the match. But it, this is normal. I mean, if you, if, you, if you play a match and you can't get going because you get only tough layouts, then you scratch once or twice, it's like doing nothing. And the things you did, you did wrong. Chilling up on the rules. And the Bayogs of the world, 16 of the best in the world in there. Lovely rail shot. Well, the five is, isn't a hard shot here. The only thing is he has to have a straight in six ball, which is perfect here. Just stop the six ball. You have a fine angle on the on the seven. Draw the seven ball a little back. The eight ball is almost a hanger. You just need to have an angle to get down back on the on the nine ball. It's the key shot to it. Into the cush. Pulls it right over to give himself as much angle as the shot allowed. And uh, maybe simultaneous contact here. Can afford to just feather the cushion as it feathers the ball. This kid was 6 2 down. It's looking good for 6 5. That brings him right back into the match. That was a perfect shot on the eight here. Got a nice little angle on the nine. Cue ball is a little off the cushion, so that means it's not that hard to make this nine ball. Right. So right ring pulls back from six two down to six five. Tonight, the Scottish Premiership, live only on Fox Sports. Celtic Cal Christian to break here, leading seven racks to six, putting Kunahiko under big pressure here. And oh. there's Christian's mistake, scratch on a break. Came back from 6-2 to lead 7-6. Christian. Not thinking very Christian thoughts at the moment, though, by the look of it. Yeah, he hit it too much on the left side again. I think that happened four or five times already. Now that is the first time either of their faces have cracked in this. The tension is now showing. Yeah, I think he's, he was really disappointed about this scratch here. Let's see, you got a little out of line on the two already here with ball and handle on the one because the three just goes on the right and corner there not on the left because the seven ball is blocking the pocket so it's gonna be a tricky tricky shot this one here because he needs to bring the cue ball exactly there where it is right now but he's not straight on the two so he might follow through Hits the bottom rail and goes back. Or maybe he's going to draw it back and try to play the three in the side pocket where the four ball is. Follow through shot to play it long. And 
left him another difficult one because the cue ball is a little too close to the rail here. So getting position on the pink's tough. It is tough, yeah. And I don't know if he can make the, the four into the side or if he has to play it along the rail in the corner. That's hard to tell from here. Again, forcing shot. Well played to leave the long pink bottom left. Yeah, there was a good shot here. I don't know if he can play the combination six into eight here, or if he has to break it up or play just position four to six to play it in the corner where he's going to play the four now. He might well, gonna break or try to to break the cluster there. But it would it would have been easier. To so play is he position gonna for the try bounce. and t t break the green out? Well, I think he was not going to to break the six out. I think he was going to get the position on the for the combination here. Yeah. So he actually he was thinking about the combination rather than moving the green. Yeah, exactly right. There was a good shot here on the on the eight ball. Well, it looked like only seven apiece. Yeah, those three balls shouldn't be a problem for him anymore. Well, it says grinding is pulling dragon teeth, but when your two opponents is evenly matched, I hadn't much form on Rhymering, but I'll take Ralph's word that he's a good player. He's proved that because he was 6-2 down at one stage. Here we go then, for uh, seven alike. Is there anybody's game, this one? Takahashi. Looking to take it to seven apiece. The rack. Kleko Takashi. Love, baby, I wanna make love to you. I know I made you angry, and I know I made you mad, and I know I made a big fool of myself. But baby, 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 I feel so bad now. Fifteenth rack, Kleko Takashi. And he made three balls off the break here. And the rest are lying in not quite gimme, but let's say they're on cheap sale offer. I think the number three ball, which is the next ball, is the toughest shot on the whole table here. If you can make this ball, the rest shouldn't be a problem. I'd even back me down the Mason's arms where I live, put this one off position that let's made out well normally the shot isn't that hard but if if the game is that tight at seven wrecks each is a race to two again same as it was last week sometimes you make mistakes you won't believe yourself there was a nice feeling shot here he has to come right in the center of the table if he would play it a little too hard he would end at the right uh, rail, that would have made it much more difficult for him. I think he, he tried to get a position here a little straighter in, in the side pocket. So now he has to come back and forth with the cue ball a bit. He might play the position for the seven in the side. So he's working roughly to bring the white ball back to where it is. But he decided to use all the table to do it. And he's brought it back exactly where he wanted. Just a little too hard. No angle. Eh? He's, he's got the, the wrong angle. He has an angle, but the wrong angle. He wanted to have the different... Grandad, grandad, you're lovely. These shots are funny sometimes. Because you have to hit them hard. You have to hit him with lots of spin. 
and sometimes they even jump out of the pocket. So be careful here. Bosch crash could be running watch out, in off. Watch out. Easy nine ball to go on the hill first for Kunihiko Takahashi. He makes it and leading the match he eight eight breaks up. to seven. Papaluma, up and boom, rocking and rolling here in Essex. Can you Could be a result in the next few balls. Takahashi, San, the W per year world champion holder. Afri Reyes is the current world champion, also in this field. He didn't make a ball on the break. Gives Christian the chance to come back into the match. If he can pass the three ball here and play it in the corner, he might have can get a good position for the two, play in the opposite corner. He only got like half a pocket here because the three is blocking a bit. So he's going for it. He's going to try and cheat the pocket. Does he watch the left hand edge of this pocket? Oh, oh, oh no, that could be disastrous because the Japanese lad only wants one rack. Well, when you when you're looking from this side, the pocket looks bigger than it actually is when you watch from the side where you have to to shoot the ball. So that's probably the reason why he decided to play it in the side but always because your angles are so limited on the middle pockets and the cushion and the the knuckle is so tight so it's a tall order that sort of shot but this isn't an easy shot as well because he has to jack up and has to be careful not touching the four ball hard on the pocket great shot that was a real good shot here, yeah. And the blue two passes, and you probably will take the red in the same pocket, Ralph? Yeah, he will play the two in the right hand corner pocket, play the three in the same one. Well, uh, rumoring, rumoring rather. Came back from 6 2. But it was always a tall order against the man of this class, one of the three or four favourites, I'd say, Takahashi for this title. Remember, good effort, Reyes here. Steve Davis, Jimmy White. And the Jack Charlton look alike. Never misses a match, him. More ubiquitous than Henry. And there's his eye view. The wily wizards of the old blue bays. Let's see if he's going to play the six in the pocket where the nine is hanging or if he's going for the combination here. But I think he's going to make the six and go to the safer way. Because the combination that far away from the pocket is always a little risky. But he might... He's forced now to play it, Ralph. Cause so here we go. Game could be game shot. Green 6 to 9. And Rian of Aplu, they say in Baden Baden. Ooh, this is hard to tell from here. He's probably going for the combination. You're right there from that angle. Yep! Back in the back. There it is. He won the match, he won record number 90 and number 16, winning the match 
Nine rakes to seven and goes straight to the quarterfinals. I'm sorry for my countryman Christian Reimering, but he's out of it.